Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to another one about my stumps, World of Tanks, console 6.0 replays. I'll stop saying the 6.0 eventually, but I'm still, I'm still, my heart is still stuck on 5 point something because as many problems as it has, at least it was somewhat playable. I mean, it, this is playable. It's not horrible. And if I just started the game right now, I would think it was a good game. You know, but I didn't start the game right now. I started the game fucking six years ago. So, when... You know, someone like I talk about it, there's like a reason we complain. There's a reason us veteran players are slightly fucking pissed off. This is being recorded the day after Christmas, so you know I didn't make a video that said Merry Christmas to anyone, so I know you won't see this video for another month probably, but hey, fucking Merry Christmas, people! <sighs> like I said, if, if I had just started playing this game in the last week, I wouldn't complain about it at all. I, I would think, hey, this is a pretty cool game. Because I wouldn't know what I'm missing out on. I wouldn't know that I'm missing out on the fact that the map should be way down in the corner and it shouldn't be out in the middle like it is. If you look at my old videos, um, most of them have the map way down in the very corner. They're not stuck out there like that. Um, I wouldn't know that, hey, we used to have names and damage figures right out in the open. So I could see them. And I could see if the tank was a medium, heavy, whatever. Now we just get, you know, these little chevrons and until you actually look at the tank and which I don't think it's horrible but I want my fucking damage numbers back I want to know what I'm shooting at and what they have for health I don't want just a health bar with no number we had that years ago and everyone complained everyone wanted to have the fucking numbers there so Wargaming put the numbers there and now they said fuck it I know y'all wanted the numbers but fuck you we ain't putting them there I don't get it I don't mind the radical I don't mind the radical especially when I can put one through him Put a uh, 365 into the barn. You know, I don't mind. I don't even mind the orange. I personally put it, left it on orange. I tried the green and red. I like the blue and orange. I have no problems with that, except for I can't see the fucking damage numbers. Everyone else's damage numbers show up in white, whether it's the other team or my team. Whenever someone else damages someone in the game, it shows up white, 360. I could see that perfectly fine. But my damage, when I shoot something, shows up in fucking fuzzy orange that you can't make out. Maybe if they at least took the orange and outlined it with white, so you could see? Well, what, uh, I, could you make that out? Yeah, it's a 356. If you pause it and really slow it down or something, yeah, I can make that out. That was a 356 roll. But why should I have to do that? I don't want to have to do that in the middle of a game. There's no way I can fucking pause it and look at it in the middle of the game. Why is not my numbers just fucking clear? Because the people running this game are absolute fucking idiots. They're idiots. There is no other words to describe it. They're fucking idiots. How about that one? Oh, 370 something. 373 is what it ended up being. Why isn't it just clear? Why can't I just see my numbers? So I don't need to bitch about it. Um, with the UI in the garage being fucking rape fucking stupid, that's something else to bitch about, but I wouldn't bitch about that in-game. So the only thing I have to bitch about, the few things I had to bitch about in-game, is the fact that my bottom map isn't down to the very corner like I like it. And I don't know how to do it that way. Get it there. Ooh, he just got rocked. You used to be able to calibrate your safe zone, and when you calibrated your safe zone, if you made your safe zone um, as safe as it could be, as big as it could be, your map moved to the outer edge. The safe zone pretty much calibrated your U, your overlay UI, is what I call it. I don't know if that's a technical term or not, but it's the not the actual game picture, it's the, the UI 
on top of the game picture. That's what you kept when you did your safe zone. It moved all of that out. Now it doesn't. Now they have the map always starting up in the left-hand corner. I don't want to start up in the left-hand corner. Yeah, you've made it so I can move it down bottom, but why can't you just default it to that? And if people want it in the top left-hand corner, they could change it to the top left-hand corner. And someone keeps on texting me. Or messaging me. Too bad, so sad. Um, and then the damage numbers are the biggest thing that bother me. The biggest thing in the gameplay that bothers me right now is the map not being able to see how much damage or the name of the person I'm shooting and the fucking fact that my damage rolls are in the same color as the tanks. If they just outlined it with something else it's like right there. Okay, 356 because I was really close. I could see that one. That was a 356 to the object 140. Ooh, can I get him in the ass? Yep. Why did it just show 356 again? That one was a 345, but it showed 356 and 345 both. Why does it do that sometimes? I don't know. No idea. No fucking clue why it shows it twice sometimes. I don't know. Please tell me, Wargaming. Shows you the last roll some, just sometimes, too. Not always, just sometimes. There he is down there. Yeah, get another one into him. Yep, 370-something. Ended up being a 373. I'm gonna chase him down. Eh. Nah, he's gonna loop back behind me. He's gonna loop back behind me. I should get right out here, but I don't know where the other tank is. He's in front of me. Is he coming this way? So I'm like, eh, I'm gonna get down in this hole, get my ass spun around so I give him a good shot, and I'm just not quick enough. Just wasn't quick enough. I would have been if that tank wasn't in my way, I might have taken the shot. So I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Um, down to 2 on 2 though I've done 2541 damage as of right now and I'm sitting here thinking what I want to do I don't know how much health that um, tank destroyer has it's an E100 and I'm like I bet you he's going to be popping in behind me so I'm just waiting right here for that either him or the, the heavy uh, excuse me him or the medium to come in around me it's not an E100 it's an actual E100, not a tag destroy E100, sorry. That was my stupidity. But I was thinking they were going to come in behind me because knew, he knew I was in there. So I'm like, oh, okay, there he is. Is his buddy with him? Nope. My partner has not detected his buddy. He's in a pretty good spot. There's no way I'm going to hit him from right there without pushing up. And I could. I've got the health I could. But I don't want the medium to come around and rape me. So I'm going to circle around behind him. There's a medium. Which way is he going? I'm not detected, so I'm going to circle around behind him. I figure my tank destroyers can sit down in the corner. Should be okay. As long as he plays smart, he should be fine. Is this the right call? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see in a minute. Oh, look at that. 373 right there. Is that a second 373? Or did I just get that 373 roll because I tracked him and it showed my last roll? I'm pretty sure he didn't have any health. So that 373 roll was actually the last roll, which was a 373. Nine finishes him off. I think that's all the health he had left. And for some reason when I tracked him, it showed the previous roll. I don't know why it does that. I don't have a fucking clue. Because the game's a fucking clusterfuck right now. We end up in first pe first place. 2547 for damage dealt. 124 assists. Whoa, whole 124 assists. We lost 20,000 silver in that game, though. That's another thing. The money seems fucked up in this now. The fact that you get charged every game if you have a large... Uh, in any repair kit or anything on. You get charged no matter if you use it or not. Use it or not, you get charged for it. And that's kind of stupid. However, this is the first game in the Object 705 for me. So, you know, come to the top of the, the list and do a 2,500 damage. Um, it was alright. You know, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't, you know, an ungodly game. Only 1,300 base XP. So it wasn't, you know, anything spectacular or anything else. But I usually put the first game up 
and first game in any tank I usually put it up online so and I did okay and I'm still in the mode of ranting and bitching about the new game pretty much because it's not an update it's a fucking new game that is not as good as the game it replaced and that sucks hope you enjoyed the video